Today guys, I'm going to be trying and reviewing this Walmart Great Value Pasta Ring and Meatballs. Those of you who do not know what this is, maybe this might ring a bell. Now I'm not comparing these two together today, but we are going to be trying this one out right here. I'm pretty sure we all know what this one tastes like because this is name brand, at least I think it is. Um, we, we all know Great Value is an off brand, but Spaghetti is like a main name brand or it's a self boy already. I don't know. Anyways, let's go ahead, pause the nutrition facts, and... <laughs> I'm dumb. Let's go ahead, pause the video and read the nutrition facts. How can you pause nutrition facts? <laughs> Okay guys, before we go ahead and heat it up, I do want to try it straight from the can first because, you know, I'd rather give it a positive review when it's cold or when it's hot, but I think we all can agree that food just tastes better hot unless you eat leftover over, over pizza, which leftover, which leftover pizza tastes a lot better. Cold. That's not some arguments though on here about the pizza being cold or hot. So this is what it looks like. It doesn't look that bad. It looks just like the um, SpaghettiOs version. The SpaghettiOs version gives you like a lot of meatballs in that one though. So just uh, so let's try to get a meatball in here and some pasta. I got two meatballs in this one. The meatballs have a different con consistency, like a, d a different texture on this one. It's um kind of hard to describe this one. The texture on the meatballs is kind of like um. At first, I thought it was like real ground beef and everything, but then I realized it's still processed meat, so it's not really real ground beef in this one. The, the texture reminds you of like, um, those complete wholemeal meals. If you guys ever used to eat those, it was like those complete meals. I was ready in 60 seconds, which is actually a minute. They will, those, the, the meat loaf on that one reminds me of just this one. Despite the pasta and, and the sauce in here. That's what that meat tastes like in here. It's not terrible, but it's... Not the greatest. The sauce and everything is, uh, it's not the best. It's not like a sweet sauce like you were getting SpaghettiOs. Let's go ahead and heat this up, guys, and I'll catch you guys back when this is, um, you know, heated up. Okay, you guys, I just took it out of the microwave, give it a minute to cool down, and I'll be back in, I'll be right back to try that out. Okay, guys, it's been about two minutes now, and, uh, we're gonna go ahead and try this out. I did get me a glass of milk to go along with it, because I don't really want some soda right now. Um, it's like 8 o'clock p.m. right now, so it's basically did di di dinner time, but Yeah, let's go ahead and we'll try the pasta and the sauce first in this. We'll see what it tastes like. Just without the meatballs first. That's still hot. The sauce is okay, um, not really as sweet as the, the spaghetti ones that Campbell's makes. This tastes just more of like tomato soup, you just like, you buy tomato soup, buy this type of pasta, you cut it into smaller circles and throw it in here, that's what it tastes like. It's not terrible, but definitely this generic version is not the best I've had either. To the meatballs again while they're hot. Not trying to get two of them all, but okay. Mm. 
they definitely are softer than the other ones in the name brand. It's like, to point, it's like very, very soft. Like, I don't know why the texture on that's like very soft. That's like worse than the other one. Let, 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 let me try to try this all together first. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> My final thoughts on this one. Now... With everything combined together, I do say this is an okay meal. I don't think it's terrible, but I wouldn't go out of my way to buy this all the time. This is not something I would want to buy all the time. Same with the name brand version of this. I wouldn't want to buy it all the time, but like if you go to work or you come home from school or something like that, I do say it's like it's a good thing for like a quick little lunch or a snack. I don't really call it a dinner because Maybe a kid, it'll fill you up and everything, but as an adult, it's not going to fill you up that much. I mean, it, it's going to it's gonna help you, but it's not going to help you out a lot. I mean, hold up, hold up guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry about that. As I was saying, would I buy this again? Probably not. I'm not going to get this again as it's not the best and it's not the worst. From 0 out of 20 on my ratings based, I'm going to give this one... Uh, 3.9. It's not, it's not, nothing great. Now, the reason why I'm rating this so low compared to the other ones I've tried in the past on different foods I've tried in the past uh, based on my ratings is because you can literally tell this is just tomato sauce in this. What Walmart did or Great Value, whoever makes this, like, who whoever makes Great Value for, for Walmart just use tomato soup in this, and it's not the best. The spaghetti of always in the name brand tastes a bit more sweet and has some other stuff mixed in with it, which is a little bit better, so you can tell this one over here is a lot better, but... I'm not gonna buy this again. I do recommend if you guys haven't tried it, you're not missing out, but if you guys love tomato soup, then you can you guys can get the 98 cent version of this. Oh, for dollar twenty three, you can get this. Now, unless you guys are someone who doesn't like a lot of processed foods, which I don't see how, because America is full of processed foods. <laughs> but, I mean, what I could recommend is to get an original version of this or this and make real ground beef, shaped like balls, like meatballs and stuff, like real ground beef. Throw it into here, add some vegetables into here, and add some spices to the tomato sauce to make it better. Those are just some ideas. But overall though, I wouldn't buy this again. And overall, I'm just gonna try some more foods that's just like this. I didn't want to compare the video today because comparison to this and this, I didn't really want to open it all because I made real dinner out in the kitchen. This is just, I'll be eating this for a snack later on tonight, but we're not going to be wasting food around here because that's not how we do things, you know? But, with that being said guys, let me know in the comments down below if you guys have tried the pasta and ring meatballs by Great Value. And let me know if you guys like either the name brand or the offer brand. With that being said guys, thank you so much for watching. Put God first. I'll see you next time. Here's the real food right here guys. We got this and a couple of this.